Man, big kiss. And we're coming at you live from Chad's house. We're going to have a barbecue throwdown, pork butt style. Chad's got one on there. We've got Uncle Mark. He's got his on there. And I'm going to season mine up, and I'm going to show you how I get mine ready for the smoker. And I'll show you just a regular old pork butt, pork roast. How many pounds is it? Uh, this one is seven and a half pounds, so it's about an hour a pound to smoke it. So this is going to be about a seven and a half hour smoke. And today we're using apple wood, but I'll show you. This will be the first time I've actually showed everybody how I season them. And I'm trying another new trick today. I've got a new Something idea. Work. Let's see what everybody thinks. Let me get this out of the wrapper. Might have that out of the wrapper. shoulder well actually it's a, it's a pork butt it's bone in shoulder blade all right here we go i need some paper towel Sorry, can you grab me some paper towel please? there's some by the sink clara you always want to wipe it down get it all cleaned up and then we're going to season it by the way it's like 90 degrees here it's not 90 degrees and humid i don't know what you're talking about so what we're going to do is we're going to season it up. I always rub it down with mustard, yellow mustard. And I'm going to put my seasoning on there. And we're going to try something new, new today. We're going to wrap it in bacon. Yeah. Wrap it in bacon. We're going to wrap it in bacon, nice. and then we're going to smoke it. See what you guys think of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. My assistant here. Thanks, Clara. Claire is Chad's daughter. She's our, she's our barbecue assistant today. Helping us out. She does a good job. Right, Clara? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just wipe it down. Make sure you get all the stuff off of it. Cleaned up a little bit. There. Now, we are you going to oh. rub it down with mustard. Here we go. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is How come you didn't bring off. that one seasoning, Steve? I'm trying to I'm trying a new seasoning here. Sure. Of course. So, so you we're are. going with bone sucking sauce. I'm not getting paid to advertise this. However, this is the good stuff. It's manufactured actually in Raleigh, North Carolina. But I got it at the barbecue store here. That's the good stuff. We'll see what happens. Take another pair of gloves. Just because I don't want to get pork juice all over the bottles. So you got so you got a close-up of the seasoning. We're gonna throw the we're gonna put the uh, the mustard on here. And then we're gonna wrap it in bake. And hopefully we don't get rain down in the meantime. Uh, we get rain down. Talk foolish. Midnight before you get it ready. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright. A little mustard on here. Rubber down. Whoops. That's right. Sometimes it gets a little messy. Sometimes it gets a little messy. No big deal. So we're doing three pork busts today. Uncle Mark didn't want any seasoning on his. He's going all natural. Do it however he wants to do it. Season it up. I just had to close the damper a little bit, get a little hot. You want to put a pretty decent amount on here. Don't be afraid. I know these guys are afraid, but a lot of it'll, a lot of it'll rub off. Get the ends. Season it good. Just pat it down. And you can use any kind of seasoning or rub that you find at a store, a barbecue store. If you don't have a barbecue store, just pick out some sort of seasoning from your local grocery store. It doesn't There's no mustard matter. on that side, Steve. Oh yeah, I gotta put some mustard on there. We're amateurs. You're trying to sabotage my operation here, aren't you, Chad? That's right. 
And the mustard just to make all the seasoning stick. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, cooking spray, whatever. You can use whatever you want. This just happens to be what I like. All right. Now, for the good stuff, we are going to wrap it bacon. Check this out. I got thinking, why not? Why not wrap it in bacon? What could it hurt, right? Burgers. Ah, good tasting. We'll throw some bacon on here. Wrap it up. Alright. So we just need to do this now. It'd probably be, it's probably going to be really good, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll try something new. I didn't know you got a pork butt, Uncle Mark. Cover it in bacon. I didn't know you got one. But you told me to get Well, you're like, I ain't got one there. Just going to cover it like so. Is that the fat cap top? Or is that the yep, bottom? This, okay. is the, right. this is the top with the fat cap. Okay. So it's... Uh, huh? No. Uh, he's going to try an so experiment. I guess I'm not going to actually wrap it as much as just maybe... To the top? Cover the top. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Because well, because then it'll seep down into the meat then. Yeah, it'll melt. It'll seep right. down. Have a good get flavor. Get flavor in there. Yeah. I'll do it this way too. <clears throat> like so. So, all right, and we'll just secure it with a few toothpicks. Uh, let's see here. Birds are talking to us. Mm -hmm. Birds can't have one of these. Yeah, this Just is what we gotta place. Uncle Mark, we should do something like this for deer hunting. Like Tuesday. You know what I mean? When did we smoke last year, Steve? What day? Was that Tuesday after because uh, Monday I think we all was, had deer. Yeah, I think it was Monday or Tuesday when we No, because Monday I shot that buck at night, remember? Or yeah, right so at I think, dark. I think we yeah. Uh, it was Tuesday we smoked all day. Pork butt two pork butts. Gonna secure these in here like so. You guys get the idea. Just hold them in there. Bingo. Just like that. And then we're gonna put it on the smoker. Today we're using apple wood. So we're gonna use apple wood. We're gonna smoke this for about seven, seven and a half hours. We're gonna smoke it between 225 and 275. And uh we're going to use apple wood. So let's uh, grab another pair of gloves quick. We're going to put it on the smoker. And we'll show you the setup here. Pretty straightforward. We have three pork butts. And you country got style ribs later. Country style ribs later, yeah. And then... Uh, For Amanda. And then you got the fire all ready to go. Yep. Fire's been apple wood has been se apple wood has been seasoned almost a year. Yeah, you want to make sure your your wood is good and dry. Move this over That's here. What we like, not everybody, but I prefer right. it seasoned. There's the other two that are already on there. That's the. There's Chad's. This one Here's has Uncle no Mark's. seasoning. No seasoning, all natural. Right. So he likes it. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Big kiss is going to go right here in the middle, just like so. Then we have Chad's right there. Chad, what kind of rub did you put on there? It's a, it's like Bur a brown bourbon, sugar, bourbon rub. Bourbon, brown sugar, right. by McCormick. Something yeah, different so to just, try. Uh, I mean, something different. Basic. So we're going to try three different styles. Basic for pulled pork sandwiches. They're all going to be for pulled pork. We got Chad's. 
seasoned, then we got Big Kiss, it's kicked up a notch. With the bacon, seasoning, close her down. It's real important you have a water pan in there too. We've got a big pan in there for water. Just use an old coffee can, fill it with water. It keeps moisture inside the mm -hmm. inside the smoker to keep everything everything moist. Why are you saying uh huh? I'm telling you, it's all the. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm just I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, whatever. Right. So we start out with charcoal, and then we start using the apple wood. Probably should throw another piece in there. Yeah, we should throw throw some more wood in there. So I'm gonna grab another piece of apple wood. Got a bunch down here. pieces here let it get going so we're using just apple wood today strictly apple wood. otherwise we normally start with cherry right so what I'll do is uh, I'll, we'll, I'll, I'll pause this and then we'll bring it back and I'll show you uh, where we're at maybe halfway through the process before we wrap them put them back on the grill back on the smoker and uh, then we'll show you the finished product We'll talk to you in a little bit. It's a big kiss and I'm out.